Hello again and welcome back to Pete's Model Car Customs. I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas day or still enjoying a Christmas day wherever you are in the, on the planet. Um, I'd like to update on a few things going on here with the uh, grill challenge. Uh, most notably, uh, what I'm trying to do with catch up, to catch up with the uh, chaps that have already uh, entered. Um, as you can see down the bottom is a, a wildcat grill that I've cleared out. It's a shame he did on his channel. Um, and uh, the Plymouth grill above it, which is a really, really hard grill to do. And I ended up making several different ways of supporting it while I was clearing it. The one thing I did find, this was a, a Matchbox version and it was uh, the chrome on it was really hard and I didn't scribe through the chrome on the outside before I started working on the back and I, I've, uh, on the upper part, I have now um, scribed through the chrome first and then I'll take the back off. It, it ends up extremely fragile Oops, here he goes, drops it and breaks it. The fingers now can get it. It's an extremely fragile piece and ultra thin. And now for a bit of durability, I've reinforced the back with a framework surround. I hope that will um, come in there. Uh, just to, to reinforce a couple of bits. And down that corner, it really started wearing rapidly. So I've put on bits of stretch sprue to reconnect the, or to brace up the connection between those tail pieces along there and, and the outer frame. But it's lovely when it's done. I'm really chuffed with that, but it is extremely hard. Um, one of the hardest art I have done. Uh, the Chevrolet art I was chuffed to clear out, as that's got that... Uh, ultra fine lattice in there and I've managed to, to save that again I did scribe through in each uh, small panel to what so as when I sanded back and um, it gave me slightly more depth in some places than the um, just the relief molding of it so it's it's hopefully that the framework will be slightly thicker uh, I did have a couple of areas up there where this bit floats and they are the the top middle above the bow tie there. Those panels are really, really uh, fragile. Um, and like I say, the whole, whole little area there is nearly floating. Uh, but that was very satisfying to do and, and keep that in a grill. Um, if I can hook that back on there before knocking it. Shamey's one is ultra thick. It's it's quite an easy one to do. So you've, you've got to be careful around those radiuses there because you can get very close to the um, back of the headlight buckets. So that was quite hard to do. Um... To the side there, I've got a uh, Thunderbolt grill, which Ted was doing, and I've started doing that. And as you can see, it's mounted on a piece of paper towel. Um, this is soggy, it's wet, the, the paper towel, and I'm hoping to sort of create a moulding of it in the paper towel. If I just lift this one forward, this is a Chevelle. Um, which I'm doing in a replacement to the one that Eduardo at 125 Rods did because I don't know what he was working on. Um, I hope he has another go and takes a bit more care because his hot knife treatment um, really doesn't work. I mean, he, he's ended up with quite a messy job. Um, but the piece of paper towel, as you can see, has got a sort of relief moulding now of of the uh, of the Chevelle grill, and that will help me support the the detail part of it, keeping that well pressed into there, while I scrape the last pieces away. In fact, now I've finished scraping, and I'll be down to a um, soft sanding step. 
uh, Robert at RB um, RB Motorworks done a fantastic job on a Torino um, a 70 I think it was 7071 Torino which is a lovely finish he got to that one um, I haven't got one of those so I'm going to replace it with a 69 Ford Torino Cobra and, and do that as a grill um, Trevor at Monster Hobbies was doing a 55 Chevrolet um, unfortunately he snapped it and I'm not sure whether he's um, gluing it together to try and repair that again to carry on or whether he's given up um, several people who've said they're entering haven't yet posted anything which is for me a bit of a bonus because it gives me time to, to get on and do these ones and and uh, get level again um, I haven't heard anything more from who was it uh, GI Mechanics um, he said he'd enter but I don't know whether he has I keep checking his channel but can't see anything new posted there yet and I haven't had anything else in the uh, comments to say whether he is or not um, but I'll put, put a link in into everybody's channel who have I missed there Ted uh, oh yeah Ted I've done and I, he's the Thunderbolt uh, and uh, Tim at Throttle Power and Tom at Rambler 69 haven't posted anything yet. Skip had posted a video saying uh, that he was entering and was rummaging through a few grills, but yet again he hasn't posted anything of the grill. Um, John's told me he'll be posting something soon of, of the attempts he's made uh, at Mopar Nut. He'll be uh, posting something soon on his grill. Like I said, um, on Shamey's one, on the F100 Wildcat, I did initially have quite a nice uh, mesh behind those slots, and I'm going to go through my meshes and try and find a mesh that will look quite nice behind that. But that's about it for today. I hope you're all having a lovely Christmas day. And I'll see you all, all again for another update as things progress. I'll be, um, I'll finish off these two over here, and hopefully by then uh, some more stuff will be posted. I do hope Eduardo has another go and and digs out another grill and tries a more, like I said in the first place, this is a, a thing of, of that it's patience rather than, um, well certainly it, brute force and. Charging in doesn't really work with a hot knife, so hopefully I'll go for a slower attempt and re-attempt. Um, but that's it for now. Bye.